So, I was given a bunch of crap the other day by a friend of mine for using a transistor as a temperature sensor in my project here. So, this is a thermometer on an Arduino and a NeoPixel, which I'm writing up elsewhere. But the temperature sensor for this guy is this 2M3906 uh, PNP BJT. And we can see that in here it's about 74 degrees. And if I grab hold of this, we'll see that the temperature starts to rise. And if I let go of it, the temperature will start to fall again. So there is some time constant there on the thing. And the way you wire the circuit up is uh, if you're using a NPN, you diode connect it. Well, they're both diode connected regardless. And if you're using a PNP, which is what I'm using because I had them laying around the house, uh, you hook it up like this, which is still a diode connection. He, uh, my friend was giving me a bunch of crap, Charles Lore, about it being nonlinear. Uh, this is uh, LT Spice, and if I pull back some, you can see that this curve is dang near linear from minus, 30, minus 17C all the way to 100C. And across that range, we see about 200 millivolts change in output. So, uh, the Arduino, I'm plugging uh, the output point here directly into an analog to digital converter, and I'm using the 1.1 volt reference. And uh, that gives me enough resolution that I get more than one count per degree C across this range. So how does this work? I've already done the math out so we don't have to do it in front of everybody here. Um, the diode current is IC, uh, is the collector current, is equal to IS, which is the reverse saturation current, times E to the v, uh, base emitter voltage over N and the thermal voltage. I have all this stuff defined over here, and we'll get to it in a minute. Vt is the thermal voltage, that's Boltzmann's constant, times the absolute temperature in Kelvin, divided by the elementary charge of an electron. It's about 25 millivolts at 25 C. When Vbe is much greater than Vt, so, you know, uh, it's usually about 0.7 volts, for uh, silicon and uh, about 0.3 volts for germanium. So we'll write that on here too. VBE of silicon approximately equal to 0 0.7 and the VBE of germanium is approximately 0 0.3. So I can assume this uh, so IC over IS is equal to E to this. Take the natural log of both sides, I get that, and do some machinations with the math, and I see that VBE is equal to the absolute temperature times this constant times this thing. And I have, if you see here, a fairly constant current going through. Um, I mean, it'll change a little bit and it becomes an iterative solution to figure out what it to close in on what it actually is, which is what SPICE is good at. But uh, 5 volts minus 0.7 volts is 4.3 volts. 4.3 divided by 5K, for all intents and purposes, is um, about a half a microamp, or, or 500 microamps, if I remember right. I'm doing math in my head now, um, which is a dangerous thing. So you look at this, and the first thing you say is, oh, well, if T goes up, then VBE goes up. And that's not true. Um, IS dominates this curve. What's IS? IS is um, a constant, A, which is based on the diffusion, diffusion coefficients of the electrons and holes in the... Uh, inside the BJT. Q, again, elementary charge. KT, I mean, we see this. Here's Q, QKT, Q over KT again. 
which is the same as over here. So E, E sub G is the band gap of the semiconductor, which for silicon is 1.12 electron volts. For e, uh, germanium, it's about 0.66. Uh, I believe that this V is the same as this N, which is a quality constant, but I'm not absolutely sure. I haven't been able to dig that out of my literature yet. Uh, so when we go through and we figure this all out, uh, so here's the definitions A, E, G, V is some constant, T is absolute temperature, Q is the elementary charge of an electron, K is Boltzmann's constant, VBE, IC, IS. What we find in the end is that IS dominates this equation, and we see that for every uh, a rule of thumb is that for every 10 degrees C of temperature going up, IS doubles. So every 10 C we double if the temperature is increasing, every 10 C we have if the temperature is decreasing. That dominates and in the end we see that VBE for silicon diode is approximately minus 2.1 millivolts per Kelvin. And that's what leads to this curve here, which again is pretty dang linear. So that's all I'm going to talk about for that right now. I'll zoom out, I'll pull out to here, try to hold still enough that maybe you guys can see it. And see that it's also 74 degrees in here. Oh, and that's in Fahrenheit. So that's it for this video.